evaluate x plus y plus z, x squared plus y squared plus z squared equals 2009 and x, y, z are positive integers. Since 2009 can be written as 7 times 7 times 41, which can be written as 7 squared times 41. So x squared plus y squared plus z squared equals 7 squared times 41. Since the left hand side of the equation is the sum of three perfect squares and the right hand side of the equation is a perfect square times 41. So 41 must also be the sum of three perfect squares. Thus, there exists M, N, K in the set of positive integers such that M squared plus N squared plus K squared equals 41. So X squared plus Y squared plus Z squared equals 7 squared times M squared plus N squared plus K squared without loss of generality, we assume M is less than or equal to N is less than or equal to K. Then K must be less than or equal to 6. We know that 7 squared equals 49. The right hand side of equation 1 is 41. So we know that K must be less than or equal to 6. It's 1, k equals 6. Then equation 1 becomes m squared plus n squared equals 5. So m equals 1, n equals 2. From equation 2, x equals 7m. m equals 1. So x equals 7, y equals 7n, n equals 2, so y equals 14. From equation 3, that equals 7k, k equals 6, so that equals 42. So x plus y plus that equals 7 plus 14 plus 42, which is equal to 63. Case 2, k equals 5. Then equation 1 becomes m squared plus n squared equals 16. There are no positive integers m, n, such that m squared plus and squared equals 16. So this case is discarded. Case 3, k equals 4. Then equation 1 becomes m squared plus n squared equals 25. So m equals 3, n equals 4. From equation 2, x equals 7m, m equals 3, so x equals 21, y equals 7n, n equals 4, so y equals 28, z equals 7k, k 
8 is 4, so that equals 28. So x plus y plus z equals 21 plus 28 plus 28, which is 77. So there are two solutions. So x plus y plus z equals 63 or 77. Is it correct that x plus y plus z equals 63 or 77 only? 3 squared plus 8 squared plus 44 squared equals 2009. So x plus y plus z equals 3 plus 8 plus 44, which is 55. Clearly, there's another solution. Why wasn't this solution found using the method? Because there exists m and a which are positive integers such that m squared plus m squared plus k squared equals 41 is a sufficient condition for x squared plus y squared plus z squared equals 7 squared times 41 but not a necessary condition. Now we'll solve this problem using a correct method. Without loss of generality, we assume that x is less than or equal to y is less than or equal to z. z squared is less than 2000 and nine and three z squared is greater than or equal to two thousand and nine plus twenty six is less than or equal to that is less than or equal to forty four is one that equals forty four x squared plus y squared equals 2009 minus 44 squared equals 73 because x is less than or equal to y, so y squared must be less than 73 and 2y squared is greater than or equal to 73 plus 7 is less than or equal to y is less than or equal to 8 when y equals 7 x squared equals 73 minus 49 equals 24. This case is discarded because 24 isn't a perfect square so this case is discarded when y equals 8, x squared equals 73 minus 64 equals 9, x equals 3. So x plus y plus z equals 3 plus 8 plus 44 equals 55. So on um, case 19, that equals 26. So on, um, in summary, x plus y plus that equals 55 or 
59 or 61 or 63 or 67 or 69 or 73 or 75 or 77. Now we have an additional problem. Evaluate A plus B plus C, A squared plus B squared plus C squared equals 2025. A, B, C are positive integers. Thank you.